Hello, Colas. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer updates. We start with Usman Dembele. Our sporting director, Matteo Alemani, have confirmed the release clause value in Usman Dembele's new contract. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then, secondly, talking about Frankie de Jong's future. Um, President Juan Laporta and Director Alemani have discussed Frankie de Jong's future and pre-season participations. We are going to be looking at that as well. So guys, as we get right into it, please endeavor to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a video. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Awesome. 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 Rafinha has made a lot of headlines in Catalonia after being officially presented as a Barca player at the Suita Desportiva. The forward is delighted to have joined the Black Grana and is looking forward to living up to the heritage of previous Brazilian players at the club. Barca president Juan Laporta has voiced his satisfaction as well, suggesting Rafinha could bring back the Joga Bonito at Barcelona. While the presentation was rightly dominated by Rafinha's unveiling, Barcelona sporting director Matteo Alemani has dropped an important piece of update regarding the contract of another star player in the form of Ousmane Dembélé. The Frenchman signed a new contract on Thursday, pending a two-year deal with a reported 40% pay cut. While there has been much discussion and argument over the details of Dembélé's contract, Alemany has confirmed it includes a release clause worth around 100 million euros. He said, Dembélé's release clause is one. 100 million euros, Alemani confirmed during Rafinha's presentation. A release clause of 100 million euros, although quite significant in its own right, has become quite rare for Barca players these days, as the club have mostly opted to place a higher value in order to put up suitors while simultaneously adhering to La Liga rules. The likes of um, Anto Fati and Ronald Araujo all have 1 billion euros clause embedded in their contracts. Why Usman Dembele is much older than the two, his 100 million euros exit clause could be an indicator of unfinished negotiations between the two parties. Why Dembele has reportedly taken up a salary cut in order to remain at Barcelona, there are reports that suggest his agent could renegotiate with Barca after a year, presumably to yield an upgraded proposal from the club. Release clause just 100 million euros? Wow, that's strange. I thought it could have been much than that. But Alemani have confirmed that anyways. So Dembele has extended his contract, or let me say signed a new contract. It's not extending because his contract had expired. He signed a new contract on Thursday. And um, there have been a lot of um, arguments between transfer journalists in France and in Spain. They are having two different opinions. In France, we hear Dembele's net salary is worth 11 million euros. Talking about net salary, that is salary ex um, excluding tax, 11 million. Whereas in Spain, they are saying that he took a 40% pay cut and it is 6 million euros, which is his net salary. So I very much, honestly speaking, I very much believe the report from Spain. We know Laporta has been saying this, that he wants to regulate, he wants to make salaries between players having a fair difference. And what we're talking about, 10 million euros being the maximum that Laporta is targeting to give any player in that team. Laporta wants to stop that exaggerated payments, that exaggerated salaries, right? Something that the, the previous Barca president and his board were doing as a normal routine. And that's why it is difficult and hard to believe that Usman Dembele will take up to 11 million euros. I don't believe so. I think 6 million euros because they are talking about 40% pay cut, of course even though that's report from the Spanish newspapers and all the rest. But I think that one looks more realistic. I don't think Barca will move 11 million to be paying Dembele net per season. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Over the past 24 months, there has been a lot of talk about Frankie de Jong's Barcelona future and how the Catalans are trying to force him out of the club this summer. The 25-year-old has been heavily linked with a transfer to Manchester United all summer long. Barca already believed to have an agreement with the Red Devils over an 85 million euro transfer fee, including add-ons. But 
The young remains insisted on staying put at the terminal and has shown no desire to accept a transfer to Old Trafford. It led to reports claiming that Barcelona have officially informed him that he needs to leave the club. Furthermore, it was also suggested that the Blaugrana might consider dropping him off the pre-season tour to the United States of America in order to pressure him to leave it. However, Barcelona president Juan Laporta has now provided an update you know, on the situation, stating that the club are not forced to sell the young this summer. However, he did specify that the Dutchman's participation in the tour to the United States would be decided by manager Xavi. As quoted by Fabrizio Romano, he said, It's not true that we are forced to sell Frankie de Jong. This is not correct. Frankie's trip to the United States will be decided by Xavi. Sporting director Matteo Alemani also gave his two cents on the situation, stating that the young remains an important player for Barcelona, but he accepted that the financial fair play situation can force Barcelona to take an action. He said, Frankie is a very important player and we count on him, but we know La Liga's fair play um, rules tells us to sell players, Alemani said. I can't say more on Frankie de Jong and Man United, he added. So despite the public insistence, Barca are believed to be intent on seeing the young leave as it would help free up around 30 to 35 million euros on the wage bill. Whether either parties relent on their stance in the coming days remains to be seen. Things have not been good at all when it comes to the Frankie de Jong saga. I think Frankie de Jong is not happy the way things are for sure that he's been forced to leave. Let's, even, let's just forget about what Laporta is saying there with Alemani. That's just trying not to fuel a lot of speculation because you know the media like that, you bring in something, the media will take it and exaggerate it. That's why Laporta and his person director Alemani, from what I'm seeing, they're trying to just prevent some kind of talk about um, that, uh, that Frankie the Young saga. Because when talking to the press, you need to be very skeptical. You just don't have to answer questions the way it comes because you, you might choke your hand inside fire. And Laporta is a very professional president. He knows what he's doing. Let's forget about what he's saying. It's just to calm down the speculation and the rumors nowadays that the media is fueling every speculation. So as it stands, Frankie de Jong, um, his future is so uncertain, especially after a total agreement with Barcelona and Manchester United that was reached. It is highly likely that Frankie de Jong departs. But Frankie the Young departing, it's just unfortunate that it will be an unhappy player leaving the club. This is not the end that I as a Barca fan wanted to see for Frankie the Young. And I know most of you never wanted to see Frankie the Young in this state. But um, looking at the conditions, the financial fair play, as Alemani himself admitted, it can force Barca to sell some important players. Indirectly, he's saying that Frankie the Young possibly can leave. So... Things are not getting good at all. The relationship between Frankie and Barcelona is not getting any better. Especially with Rupert saying that he might be excluded from the United States tour for pre-season. And I think if that happens, then things will just get even more worse. Even more worse. Because Barcelona think that that would be a way, a tactic for them to pressure the player to leave. Since he's, he has been refusing every single day that he does not want to leave Barcelona. So interesting weeks ahead let's see what happens in this so colors with that we have come to an end of this episode thanks a lot for watching until next time bye bye